Videos featuring real life people saying things that they never did are already out there. Welcome back to our disinformation series. Deepfakes take disinformation to a new level by making use of the power of artificial intelligence. We have seen how sophisticated disinformation campaigns are. They exploit a vulnerability, spread information tailor-made to confuse the public, and erode societal structures and create divisions. Disinformation campaigns use digital tools and imitate real information. While this information is as old as history, campaigns have been evolving, and technology has played a major role in this evolution. What will be the role of artificial intelligence in all this? AI is, in essence, algorithms, and they can very accurately reproduce images and sounds by processing large datasets. Check out our video on AI algorithms. Deepfakes are fabricated audiovisual content that looks very, very real. They are one of the dangers of AI. As we have said before, our senses and emotions play a vital role in what we believe. If you saw a video of the candidate you wanted to vote for saying awful misogynistic and racist things, will you believe the video is real? Deepfakes are created by processing huge amounts of data using neural networks. These are systems inspired by the human brain, which can learn by considering examples. Some of the software used to create them is already available in the market. Have you seen, for instance, Star Wars Rogue One? Some scenes with Princess Leia were artificially created. But did you notice? Another risk associated with the use of AI in disinformation campaigns is the ability to synthesize high-quality text. In 2019, researchers used a software called GPT-2 to create fake news stories imitating the style of the New York Times. They asked the software publicly available to continue a story about the hijack of a North Korean vessel. Then, they asked 500 people if the resulting text was credible or not. And 72% of these people said that it was. Synthetic speech will enhance the speed and credibility of this information. And in fact, this specific software had to be removed and reviewed by the authors. It was too good, and hence subject to malicious use. The third big risk is what is called micro-targeting. Cambridge Analytica, the company that helped Donald Trump win the elections and Brexit to succeed, used a personality test on Facebook to divide individuals into personality groups and gain access to their networks. Each of these groups would be examined to learn what would interest them the most and create personalized marketing campaigns adjusted to their personality. Micro-targeting campaigns will know where to hit because an algorithm will tell them exactly what we want to hear. This information campaigns enhanced with artificial intelligence will make it even harder to distinguish real and fake content. We won't be able to tell with certainty if what we see or hear online is real. And this is not new, of course. We have been exposed to fake images for a long time, and we have created tools to check them. But this time, the content will be even more persuasive. On the right side, though, the same researchers who created the trick are already working to develop the antidote. I hope you enjoyed this series about this information, and stay tuned to this channel to learn more about different things. See you next time. Hasta pronto.